Are you serious? Are you serious? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. The river Euphrates, which is mentioned in the book of Revelation and in the book, uh, in both the ninth chapter and 16th chapter, in a very prophetic way, may be getting ready to come into play right now. The United States and the Russians have just had an altercation, have just had a confrontation, actually, along the Euphrates River. Here's what took place uh, less than 48 hours ago. The United States of America engaged with two Russian uh, fighter jets, two U.S. F-22 Raptors intercepted and fired warning flares even. What? At two Russian Su-25s over the tightly congested airspace in Syria along the Euphrates River. The Russian fighters had crossed an agreed upon deconfliction line that runs parallel with the Euphrates River. The United States and its Syrian partner forces, known as the Syrian Democratic Forces, operate on the eastern side of the Euphrates, and it's a region Russia and Syrian regime allies are supposed to steer clear from. But on December 13th, uh, two Russian Su-25s flew into the coordinated coalition airspace on the east side of the Euphrates River near Abu Kamal, Syria, and were prompted to be intercepted by these F-22 Raptors of the United States and coalition forces. This uh, created a confrontation, according to Lieutenant Colonel Damien Pickard, uh, spokesman for the U.S. Air Force Central Command. The F-22 uh, fighters had to conduct maneuvers and fire warning flares and uh, to convince these pair of Russian fighter jets to leave the conflicted uh, airspace. At one point, even the Su-25 Russian plane flew close enough to an F-22 uh, Raptor fighter jet of the Americans that it had aggressively maneuvered to avoid a mid-air collision. This was a very dangerous situation, and it went on for 40 minutes along the Euphrates River. Now, I go to the Bible instantly when I see something taking place in that area. And in the book of Revelation, chapter 9, we're preparing for a major confrontation, and it includes the releasing of demonic spirits and forces right out of uh, uh, that area. Check this out. In, in the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 11, there we, all, we already had the, 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 the king who has the key to the bottomless pit. And uh, he shows up, it says in verse 11, and says, and they had a king over them. Talk about all these scorpion locusts that were seen flying around in that area. Were they planes? Were they uh, weapons of war? Uh, they had breastplates and they had iron, they had wings, they had sounded like chariots running. They had stingers in their tails and they had power to hurt men five months. And in verse 11 it says, they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. One woe is past and behold, there comes two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded. I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. This prophecy says that these four angels were released out of the Euphrates River area there. Will, during, there'll be four major events. One, it, uh, it takes only an hour. The other one, one takes only a day. One takes a month and one takes a year. But collectively, they kill a third of, of the men. Okay, and this is an incredible revelation. But if you go to Revelation 16, you get another uh, 
It's very important situation coming again out of the Euphrates River region. It says in Revelation 16, and the sixth angel, verse 12, I'm in Revelation 16, 12, and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, and the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Behold, Jesus says, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. So the river Euphrates, now, oh, by the way, it says, I saw the river Euphrates, this, and, and it was dried up. Guess what? In the last eight years, since I came online, when the first... 5,000 blackbirds fell out of the sky in B.B. Arkansas. Uh, and, and, and that was seven years ago coming up this New Year's Eve. But in the last eight years I've been online, the river Euphrates has shrunk 80%. You can look at the Google Maps from eight years ago and look at them today. 80%. It's drying up. <coughs> and now we have U.S. raptors. Uh, F-22 fighter jets in confrontation engagement with two Russian Su-25 fighter jets. That makes four fighter jets in, an, in a 40-minute in a, in a confrontation in the sky above the Euphrates River when the Revelation chapter 9 scripture talks about them uh, being released, uh, uh, you know, right out of the Euphrates River area, four angels are loosed, okay? So there's some demonic activity going on, certainly, and prophetic events. The Euphrates River is a major area for strategic uh, and demonic and spiritual Warfare and confrontation, and that area is so charged for the end times, it's unbelievable. Give your life to Jesus Christ. I'll talk about this today in our live broadcast. starts at 12 noon Eastern, at 12 noon Eastern, at our website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.